hey there scientific people how are you so today i'm going to teach you how to draw the best compound microscope with very short trick and this would be very perfect and very precise method one shot method you need not to do it second time or third time in order to get the actual compound microscope diagram so here is the image of the perfect compound microscope diagram given from this is given from ncert physics grade 12 textbook so let's try to draw this in a very perfect way so let's begin we require some basic stationery we require a scale compass sharpened pencil and a eraser and this is the another long scale that i have and apart from that i am going to use a black sketch pen over here this method you definitely use it in your exams and you will be able to draw perfectly within a very short interval of time correct but guys in exam make sure that you don't draw this diagram with the help of a sketch pen because sketch pens are not allowed in the board exams so now let's start our drawing so first of all i am going to draw a straight line a long straight line so this is our long straight line and now i am going to mark six points and this is our first point starting from zero this is my first point and then the second point should be at a distance of 2.5 cm third at a distance of 4 cm from the first point so this is our point p1 this is point p2 p3 this point is our optical center of the lens i am going to call this point as o1 and from here at a distance of 3.7 cm from here 3.7 cm i am going to mark the next point then from here at a distance of 6 cm and 12 cm i am going to mark the other points this point is going to be the optical center of my second lens this point is p1 this point is p2 this point is p3 this point is going to be my p4 point correct okay so now take the scale measure the distance 4.5 cm between both the edges of the compass and i have already arranged the compass in such a way that the distance between both the edges is 4.5 cm now from <clears throat> point p3 you are supposed to draw an arc but before doing that make sure that you draw some very light straight lines like this one from o1 and o2 like this one for our reference you will come to know the use of this after some time now since this is already at 4.5 cm from this point p3 draw an arc like this make sure that you don't exceed the arc from the intersection of these two points now from the other side at approximately approximately 1 cm away from this point draw the another arc so this is our lens ready and 
this is going to be our objective lens I'm sorry guys this is going to be our objective lens now I'm going to draw an object whose length should be less than one centimeter from point P1 so approximately 0.7 centimeters is what I'm expecting the length of the object here so now this is having height as 0.7 centimeters now from the top edge this is the first parallel ray and this point is actually the focus of our objective lens so first ray this is the incident ray which is parallel to the principal axis so after reflect after refraction it will pass through focus and this is the focus and extend the line till you intersect this line and stop here correct this is our refracted ray now from here the another ray passes through the optical center till here now wherever these two meet that is the location of our image and as you can see the image will be formed at point p3 correct so this is your second incident ray and as you know that the ray passing through optical center does not undergo refraction so finally a real image is formed over here now don't extend the lines from here now it is the time not to draw the lens first and to draw the final image first this is what is the best part of the video guys so at some distance away from here draw approximately one centimeter draw a long line lighter line so that it is easier for you to rub then connect this point this point with our line again by a very lighter line you are supposed to draw now this point is the head of our image so this point is the head of our image guys and now finally we have obtained the final image so I'm going to mark it now this point is to be joined with the head of this one through a dotted line from here to here dotted line and from here to here rigid lines again from this point rigid line and join this with a dotted line over here done now we are going to construct our lens because guys it is very difficult after construction of the lens you might feel that the image is slightly displaced here or there we might not get the final image so this is the trick take the distance 7 centimeters and from this point P4 draw the curve like this and from this point O1 ready guys now finally the eye is to be made
this is our eye this is the final image and this is our virtual image this is our eyepiece so the entire diagram is as per our ncrt textbook now guys let me just give you the information about all these points over here and then i'm going to give you the logic that why these distances are so so the first thing is this point p101 this distance is kept 2.5 centimeters then o1 to p2 this is the focal length of the objective and that i have kept as 1.5 centimeter then o1 to p3 this is the image distance for the objective lens and this is 3.7 centimeters then the distance between o1 and o2 that is the optical center between both the lenses i have kept 6 cm correct and why i have done that because we are well aware about this equation 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u this is the lens makers formula now focal length of this particular lens i have kept 1.5 cm correct so this is basically 1 upon 3 by 2 because 1.5 can be written as 3 by 2 now that is equal to i don't know suppose the image distance now the object distance since the object distance is in this direction so it is opposite to the incident ray so the object distance is negative and this is what is my object distance that is u so it is minus 2.5 2.5 can be written as 5 by 2 this goes up so this is now 2 by 3 and focal length of the convex lens are positive so plus 2 by 3 is equal to 1 upon v minus minus plus 2 by 5 so if you solve this you will get the final answer as plus 3.7 centimeters so that's why i have selected the image distance as so and we are well perfect with the equations as well as our diagram as well so hopefully guys you have enjoyed this explanation please um, put your valuable comments and thank you for watching the video